during this summer i was free so i decided to use uh, utilize this time so i started for preparing fe in uh, uh, june or july uh, june starting okay. and i uh, gave this exam in probably two months okay that's pretty impressive Hello, Parth. Thanks a lot uh, for scheduling this call and um, sharing your FE Electrical and Computer Exam preparation journey. First of all, congratulations on passing the exam. So, a few questions for you. When did you really? Okay, when did you graduate? First of all, uh, I graduated uh, in two thousand nineteen. So about two years ago. Uh, yes. And right now you're doing masters, right? Yes, I'm pursuing masters in electrical power from University of Southern California, Los Angeles. Okay, good. So, uh, what motivated you to uh, take on the FE exam? Like, uh, did did someone tell you about the benefits, or you wanted to get it done and you know increase your chances of getting a good job? Uh, yes, actually, when I came to US, I heard from some of my seniors that FE and T is very useful for getting job and it will open more opportunity uh, than without license candidate so at that time i decided to give my fe exam and i am uh, planning to give my pe exam very soon okay so let, let us uh, walk through your journey so when did you really start your exam preparation how many months ago so during last summer uh, during this summer i was free so i decided to use uh, utilize this time so i started for preparing fe in uh, uh june or july uh, june starting okay. and i uh, gave this exam in probably two months okay that's pretty impressive now you have obviously a few things going your way the first one is the fact that you graduated in 2019 uh you're relatively in touch with the exam preparation but doing this in two months is quite a bit of a challenge so what was your daily exam preparation routine like uh actually during these two months i was doing full time on campus job so okay uh, so uh, around 8 hours so after my on campus job i was preparing for fe exam so i did for study guide and uh, uh, a video lectures and i i also give some of uh, quiz at the end of the lecture so i think this two material helped me a lot in this exam all right so we'll get to the exam preparation resources but so with 8 hours of work so you were basically you said that you were free but technically you were not free because you were still working full time right mm-hmm. uh, it was just that you were free from school at that time so mm-hmm. you're you're putting in 40 hour work weeks right and on top mm-hmm. of that you're preparing so this is something that most of my students do they have full time jobs or they're studying full time uh, graduate studies so it's it's really tough so on a daily basis how many hours and even on weekly basis how many hours were you putting in and how were you uh, managing your time i spent around 5 to 6 hours per day wow that's that's yeah. intense and i use sun, uh, weekend full day <laughs> so on weekend like can, can i assume like 8 to 10 hours per yes, day yes 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 okay and you did this for eight straight weeks right for two months yes continuously now this is something that some of the students would be able to do but probably not everyone uh which is uh putting in this much amount of time and effort but the good the the benefit of doing that is that if you can pull it off in 2 months then you don't have to study for 4 or 5 or 6 months okay yes. so congratulations again on doing that now coming back to the exam preparation resources which exam preparation resources did you use uh, so i use only two materials one is the video lecture by you Uh, and i also refer study guide so that's a black and blue book in the background yes black book okay so okay. with the video lectures you basically mean the online course uh, the on demand yes, course that contains 150 uh, lectures so how did you use the uh, on demand course uh so i decide to complete one chapter in 2 to 3 days then i give quiz at the end of the lecture okay yes so by this way and at the end of uh, all the lectures i uh, repeated uh, the chapter which i feel i am not comfortable okay. then 
I gave to practice exam at the end of the this course. Yeah, there's a bonus full and computer simulated practice exam at the end of the course. And how did you use the study guide? Were you using both of them at the same time or you completed the course and then the study guide? No, at the both, uh, same time. So you were doing one lecture and then the problem set in the study guide and, and you continued that for 150 lectures and all the topics in the study guide. Yes. Correct. So which topics in your opinion, Parth, you were most concerned about when preparing for the exam? Uh, I think software engineering. Software okay. engineering is difficult because I am from electrical background. So I okay. never learned about software engineering in my undergrad. So how did you, how did you approach it? That's, that's, I'm asking this question because a lot of my students who basically go through these interviews, they're like, okay, Vasim asked for the most difficult question uh, topics and like, how did they prepare for it? Right. So software is amongst like computer systems, control controls sometimes digital systems and computer networks, it rates one of the highest, right? So what was your approach knowing that, okay, you are not strong in software and your background is not in software. How did you tackle it? So first of all, I saw whole, the, uh, whole lecture series around like there are around 15 lectures on security as well as the software testing. So Actually, the 20, uh, yeah, 15 lectures in software and 20 lectures on networks, yeah. Yes, so I, I so all of the lecture, then I solved questions in the study guide, and uh, by this way, I prepared these two chapters. Now, when when it came to the actual exam, obviously, we cannot discuss exam specific questions, but which topics you found most difficult? Same, software engineering. So your and guess algorithms. About uh, yeah, so that's all. And... That's all software. So you're you're uh, you're you putting in more time into software. Hopefully, helped you manage it a little bit better as compared to what it would have been if you had not put in that much amount of time, right? Yes. So in terms of uh, time management during the exam uh, part, how early were you able to complete the morning session and the afternoon session? How did you manage time during the exam? Actually, I was decided to complete one question in three minutes. So if I don't know the answer, then I uh, leave that question and go to next question. So by this way, I spent around two hours and 45 minutes for each part. Okay. Yes. Two, two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, well, it, it's really, I think it's about two hours and 40 minutes for morning yes. session and afternoon session. It adds up to five hours and 20 minutes, I believe. Actually in first session, I have 54 questions and second, uh, second session, I have 56 questions. Okay, I see. Were you pressed for time? Were you like, okay, you know what? I have to just now just randomly uh, find some answer, you know, select some answers. Or did you give, were you able to, you know, give due attention to every single question? No, I gave uh, same attention for all the questions. Okay. All right. That's good. So overall, you didn't feel rushed, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks a lot for your advice, uh, Bart, and congratulations uh, once again. I look forward to seeing you in the PE Power course and helping you through the rest of your journey, PE licensing journey. I, as I tell my students, like 10 years out, you're going to look back at your effort and investment of time energy that you put in towards your P licensing goal. And it will be one of the best things that you probably do for your career. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you so much.